What, Dune was as boring as that Warrior Celtic game yesterday. Because I tell you this, I mean, when you come up with a strategy, literally as you're leaving the tunnel, I mean, there's no wonder it didn't work. I cannot believe uh, Draymond Green is just the gift that keeps giving, and I know you and him uh, are best friends now. But you know, I I'm saying like this guy comes out and says, "Yeah, you know, we were thinking about not guarding Jalen Brown." Do, do we have that soundbite I mean, right away? It's it's just it's absolutely hilarious. Could you imagine Steve Spagnola? You know. We were thinking as we were coming out of the tunnel, we're just not going to guard George Kittle today. We're not going to guard CMC. Ah, it's okay. Here's Steve Kerr on the game plan. If you could go ahead and fire it off, Spinotti. Uh, do, you know, he, he, you try different things. You guard. You have to pick your matchups. You know, we wanted uh, Draymond to be able to help on drives and and make sure that we weren't giving up um, easy stuff in the paint. The the, uh, the the killer was the transition from the beginning all the way till the end. They got 42 transition points, so you're not winning a game. You know, with uh, with that kind of defensive uh, or lack of defensive awareness. 42-12 fast break points. 42-12. They outscored the Warriors 61-17 after the game was knotted up at 21 points apiece. And the game plan was, hey, Jalen Brown, go ahead and shoot it. Well, he shot it. He shot it well, especially in the first quarter. 19 points, 25 in all in the first half. Um, and look, he's a 35% three-point shooter. That game meant a lot to the Boston Celtics. Oh, Let's be real. They acted like they won the 2022 NBA Finals with that win yesterday. Overall, Warriors are playing great basketball. 13 to 4 in their last 17. You go 3 1 on a road trip. Sure, it was a sour taste in your mouth, but you had a free roll yesterday. Oh, no, no, that no. game will not mean anything whatsoever. But, you know, the game plan to leave Jalen Brown open made, let him, made a lot of us uh, scratch our heads there, and he made him. He made him pay. So, you know, you, you said that that game meant a lot to Boston. I could feel that it meant a lot to Boston. And, you know, look, uh, look I'm not mad at the it. NBA. I, I want I want right. to get into this because this is something I was thinking about yesterday. You know, when you were out, uh, I know we haven't been together, it feels like, in weeks. And so when you were out, I, I, I was coming off of the NBA All-Star game. And right. I, I legitimately was like, hey, look, I think the NBA, it, it, they've got an issue here. And I'm not sure what the answer is. I think everyone wants to scream and yell and right. cry and go crazy about all these different things. But sometimes there's not a solution. Yep. So here's an example. All right, B. Yesterday, you're like, hey. From a league perspective, we want to have the Boston Celtics and the Golden State Warriors on a Sunday marquee, mar marquee. marquee matchup yeah. where there is no football or anything. This is going to kind of set the tone for the last couple of weeks right. leading into the playoffs. We really right. want to set the tone, and it makes a lot of sense. But then you look at it, and you're like, well, the Warriors at the end of a road trip. And you're not going to start the road trip in right. Boston. Right. And you're not going to start a road trip on the weekend. Right. So, like, they're really in a tough spot. And then you wonder why the Warriors, being the Warriors, like they're an older team. Right. They win those first three games of the road trip. And, like, yeah, they're playing with house money. Uh, Steph's got a banged up knee. Right. Like, I'm not mad at anyone involved. I just think when I look at a zoom out from an NBA perspective, I say, like, what are they supposed to do right. with these television matchups? Like, wh where would they have put the singular Warriors in Boston moment, like, on the schedule? They tried to put it right. in a spot to highlight it where football's out of the way, and and then even then you get a dud. And I feel like everyone was like, Adam Silver. And I'm not saying Adam Silver's the greatest, right. but like, oh, the schedule makers, Adam Silver. Nah, I, what are they supposed to do? The schedule makers didn't even prop up in my head. Look, the Warriors had a difficult time getting to Toronto. After New York City, they were stuck on a tarmac all night long. Um, you know what I'm saying? They didn't get to bed till mm. 8 in the morning. For them to win that basketball game, to score the Raptors 59-41 in the second half of that basketball game, and win that basketball game, you overcome it. Now you get some rest. You go to Boston. I had no problem with the way to... We want those games. Yes. At twelve thirty on a Sunday. We want those games maybe at three thirty on a Sunday. In a in a road trip, you're playing with the free roll. It is what it is. We've seen that game on a Saturday night when it's the Warriors and the Celtics. It just happened the way it did. If anybody's complaining about the schedule, no, 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 no. The Warriors have had plenty of rest. They've had a couple you know, they had the all star break, they had mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. IST break, they had the unfortunate break after uh Decky unfortunately left this world in Salt Lake City. Um, and so they had to post some games and they had a week off there. Look, I, I don't think rest it's the end of the road trip. Boston got crazy hot. They were into that game. Boston clearly wanted to send a message and they're playing well at home. They're their best home team in the league by far. Thirty and three. I mean I mean it is really Isn't unreal what they're doing. That is insane. And they've won eleven of the 11 games in a row. 
11 games in a row. Actually, 29 and 3. They were 28 and 3 going into oh, it. I, I saw 30 and 3, but. Yeah, I wrote 30 and 3 But, but, I, but I, yesterday huh. on the show, okay. yesterday on the show, I had 28 and 3. Now I'm looking at the standings now that says 29 and 3. Hmm. Well, no matter what. They've only lost three home games all season long and 11 in a row. So they're rolling right now. It's all right. If anybody's complaining about the schedule or anything like that, nah, that, that had nothing to do with it. No. Boston got crazy hot. They were not going to lose that basketball game. They wanted that game. And you know what? They set the physical tone. They had a playoff intensity about themselves. And you give them credit. The season series is putting one game apiece. They needed that win more so than the Warriors. Well, game. here's the big put key is like when Derek White and Steph Curry collided, I'm like, oh my gosh, please, please don't get hurt. Right. Like right. that, that was really all I want. Just come home you know, in one piece. You got three games this week, uh, during the, during the weekdays. And so like they need to, they need to be ready to go here. I mean, they've got a, they got a nice push. How many games left in the season, Bonte? Uh, so we have, if I do my math correctly here, we have 22 games left in the season. They're 32 and 28. They've won 13 of their last 17 games. They were three and one on that road trip. So you're right in a good spot yes. here going into now, the last, going into March here. Look, the standings are right there. Yeah, you I look was at looking the at the lost column. You look at the lost column here. You're a game and a half back. You're a game behind the Mavericks in the lost column. You're two games behind the Suns in the lost column. You're three games behind the Kings and the Pelicans in the lost column. That stuff will be sorted out over the next month, month and a half. You're one game up on the Lakers in the lost column. You have three games left against the Mavericks this year. You got two against the Lakers. Those are five games that are going to be imperative for the Golden State Warriors to win. You want to go at least three and two, split with the Lakers, win two or three against the Mavericks. You got another game against the Pelicans at Chase Center, mm -hmm. which could be huge for tie-breaking purposes. Their season series right now is tied up in one game apiece. You beat the Pelicans later in the year, you win that season series. So you get that tiebreaker. So, look, you're a position where you could still potentially get a top six spot. But at the very worst, being in that 7-8 bracket is imperative for the Golden State yes. Warriors so you don't play that 9-10 and it's one loss and you're done. If you're 7-8, you lose a game, you have something to play with there, you can still win uh, going into the playoffs and being that AC. Yeah, and I think yesterday, and, and I like, I want to talk big picture about the Warriors because there's been like a lot of really good basketball has been played. I know yesterday maybe left a sour taste in some people's right. mouth. Not for me. Um when you get CP3 and GP2 back, like to me that that makes you one of the better off the bench teams in the league. I'm not saying they're the best, right? But like that, that that elongates all of these different lineups. And I do believe, like, and I've heard Steve Kerr talk about connectivity between first and second units, and you know, carrying things over and whatnot. It is nice to have CP3 out there. I right. thought CP3 was not good yesterday, but right. it, but in general nobody has been good, good since yeah. coming back. Look, nobody was good yesterday. No, I, Steph, I agree. Steph Clay. Draymond combined to score 16 points. That's the fewest points they've scored together since they've all started together I mean, in a lineup. They're all with that. Steph bad. couldn't hit the right side of right. the barn. I mean, Steph, third game he where he tired. doesn't hit, hit a three. Uh, Kaminga had his worst game By, in weeks. Yes. In weeks. So nobody played well yesterday. They struggled. They only scored 88 points. I thought Moody had some pop early uh, going to the basket, yeah. hitting a couple threes. Scrappy for three, some rebounds. No doubt. But it, the, the team laid it done. It, it's all good. And, and when I say Boston needed that game more than the Warriors, psychologically, they've been discussed. Jalen Brown at halftime was like, you know, it, we, we have a loss. We've been reminded that they beat us in the NBA Finals. We haven't forgotten that. That was two seasons ago. I know. They're still thinking about it in Boston where the Warriors are like, we know if we get into a series with Boston, they're very guardable. When a team tells you they want to get 53-point attempts up, they want to shoot the three-ball heavy, I'll take that all day long. They ignored it, Peyton Boston. So I think if they ever met the NBA Finals this season, I think the Warriors will have something for their asses. I really do. I mean, can we Let's get to the playoffs. No, then, I'm just then, saying. I said it. I, 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 I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I said that. Um, so, 